Monday Night Football, the Miami Dolphins against the New Orleans Saints. Didn't write down a ton of trends on this one. The Saints are a three-point favorite here. Total of 39 and a half, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Let's so so let's dive into some of these trends, right? Miami 5-1 one and 1 against the spread in their last 7 games. They are 5-1 one and 1 against the spread as a road underdog. They are I mean there's all kind of things that you get into. 4 and 0 oh against the spread their last 4 after allowing less than 150 yards passing in the previous game when well, they played against the Jets. So like who knows. They are 0 and 3. Sorry, 3 and 1 against the spread in the last 4 following a spread loss cuz they did not cover against the Jets last week. There's just a lot that you can like about the Dolphins here. Six and two against the number the last eight games in December. But uh, when you look at the Saints, seven and three against the spread their last ten games in December, and then they're two and five against the spread their last seven as a favorite. They are one and four against the spread their last five home games, one and five against the spread in their last six Monday night games. And they are 1-6 against the spread in the last seven following a spread win. Now, Chris likes the Saints, and their defense has been lights out. They have been really, really good. Uh, when I am looking at the Miami Dolphins against this New Orleans Saints defense, the, I think the Saints defense played a perfect game against the Bucks last week, and I don't know that you can do that two weeks in a row. Taysom Hill did not play badly at all. And overall, I mean, the Saints maybe should actually be favored by a little bit more if you just look at the overall numbers, but they still have all of the Jameis games in there for the Saints. So I don't know that we can look at it the exact same. Miami's offense isn't great, but they have been a lot better as of late, especially now that Tua is healthy. This Miami defense has actually been pretty good. Number 12 in total DVOA. The New Orleans defense is number four. Like Cam Jordan and what they are doing with the Saints is just unbelievable. Chris is going to take the Saints here. I'm going to trust Tua. I'm going to trust Tua, and and I think the Dolphins can get this thing done, plus three in New Orleans on Monday night. I, I think the Dolphins are vying for a playoff spot. I think they're going to be really good to close out the year. New Orleans, I just don't know that they're going to be able to score a lot. Like I just, I, I don't trust them to be able to put up a ton of points. I think that Miami can be more explosive. They, uh, they have the running backs back all next week. They got Jalen Waddle back. I think they'll be able to find ways through the passing game, and, and through the running game to be able to put points on the board. I don't know that New Orleans is going to be able to do that. So give me the Dolphins plus three. Chris likes the Saints minus three. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.